Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out today's video. Uh, in today's video, I'm actually going to be kind of reviewing the uh, new update, update 6.0. It dropped for Android and iOS this morning. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, it's bringing a new chapter into War, Ro War Robots, I think, uh, with this. We've got an introduction of a new Titan, several new weapons, a small rebalance, and of course we have the anniversary event for War Robots. So I'm just going to kind of go over the update notes with you all so you know what to expect with the latest update. But before I do, a quick reminder for uh, those of you that are looking to get your hands on an atomizer, uh, the month of April, myself and Islander from Islander War Robots YouTube channel have been... Uh, Posting several video giveaways for atomizers and at the end of this month actually this week uh, this coming Sunday uh, we will be uh, getting together and giving away another 100 atomizers on our weekly podcast and that podcast is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, every Sunday so make sure that uh, you drop by uh, Islanders channel as well as this one make sure you are subscribed and uh, turn your notifications on so that uh, you don't miss when we do go live with that giveaway but uh, I will also be including uh, several cards for the existing giveaway videos that uh, he and I have out I'll be putting them uh, up here so make sure that uh, you click on those and make sure you are entered for those atomizer giveaways as well more chances for you to win well that's uh, it for the intro. Let me go ahead and uh, pop on over to the uh, update notes so we can uh, get into it and uh, see what's going on. Okay, so uh, for those of you that uh, aren't aware, War Robots actually does have a... Uh, a uh, web address and that's warrobots.com or warrobots.net whichever you choose it'll take you to the same place but uh, they do po post uh, various things on there and uh, one of the things they do post is the update notes every time we do get an update so make sure that you do stop by check it out if you need to uh, refer back to it but I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with you guys here uh, today and then uh, let you know what my thoughts are on some of these uh, new changes or new items that are coming to the game. So as I said, uh, it is update 6.0. That is the uh, first update for the sixth year of the game. So uh, the game has been around for six years now. Gosh, it was uh, not long ago that we were just uh, celebrating the five-year anniversary of War Robots, and I'm pretty excited that uh, we're bringing in a new year, and I think it's going to be a strong year with War Robots. But uh, anyway, get into the uh, first thing that they have listed here, and that is the new event. Uh, it should be starting within the next day. I believe the timer is already in the game, uh, and that is the uh, anniversary event for 2020. Uh, this is going to be slightly different than previous events in that there are two different crates that you can choose from when you are opening crates. One of them is going to have your typical rewards such as robots, weapons, um, power cells, things like that. The other crate is going to contain uh, Titan stuff, including the new Titan Nodens, some of the new weapons, uh, Titan weapons, the Cyclone, and gosh, I can't remember the name of the uh, heavy weapon, but uh, I'll get into it here in just a moment. But uh, and, and it's also going to have Platinum. So we all know that uh, there's a shortened operation that is in the game right now that also awards Platinum, which is great. So it's kind of a good sign that uh, Pixonic is loosening the... Uh, purse strings I guess on the platinum and giving us more opportunities to gain the platinum which I think overall is great uh, but anyway uh, so there will be those two different crates for you to open as part of this event uh, I don't know if there's going to be two different currencies or not I'll have to wait and see uh, once the event goes live but uh, as of right now we do know for sure that there will be two different crates to choose from if you want the regular rewards or the Titan rewards uh, so awesome stuff now there's also going to be a new legendary pilot this one is for the Ravana and it is going to be called Arnov Poe um, and I'll get into uh, a little bit about what it does but essentially the uh, ability is going to be that it adds a third ability usage for the Ravana which is going to be pretty strong if you run a Ravana uh, and then there's going to be some special edition robots and weapons well 
the Ravana is a special edition um, and uh, I haven't really had a good in-game close look at it just yet but uh, the little bit that I have seen from their teaser video it does look pretty cool and then there is going to be a uh, spe special edition scourge and atomizer so you know you have a few more uh, opportunities at least to pick up an atomizer or one of these special scourges if you uh, uh, are hoping to get one of them uh, and then along with the event there's going to be the uh, typical arena and skirmishes throughout the event uh, so for those of you that uh, like to farm gold up in the arena this one is going to be a good one for you um, a couple of uh, new new weapons are also being released and uh, they will be available in the uh, special delivery crates that is going to be the quarker and the nucleon that is the light and the heavy version of the atomizer uh, we've been testing it on the test server for probably the last month um, these are kind of exciting to be bringing into the game because the atomizer is a really really good weapon and uh, this is going to give you a little bit more flexibility with some builds because it's going to be the uh, light and the heavy versions of it and those will be available for anybody that's above level 5 in the uh, special delivery event now because they are including things like Titans in the event chest uh, it's not going to be available for you unless you are level 30 so this is another kind of small change with the event and the event chest uh, there is a minimum level requirement for some of them um, there is going to be a new module this is a passive module um, this is kind of hard to explain but it's the, called the overdrive unit and basically it works similar to say the last stand where there is a set area on your health bar that will activate the module uh, but instead of giving you you know invincibility for a few seconds this one actually increases your damage uh, and you can the more of them that you do stack on your robot the uh, higher the threshold will be for it to activate um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this is used I'm, I'm not too sure um, I'm not too sure if I'm planning on using it myself, but uh, I'll kind of wait and see. And, uh, you know, it could be something that uh, could be used tactfully or tactically, maybe, uh, <laughs> throughout gameplay. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how that actually evolves with the, uh, with the game. Now, as I said, there is also the brand new Titan Nodens. Um, most of you have probably seen various videos from the test server with this. This is a support titan uh, it has a healing ability it has a suppression ability um, but uh, it's only going to be available in the special edition or the uh, special delivery crates for right now i'm sure it'll come to the store afterwards uh, if you are hoping to purchase it with platinum you'll have to wait just a little bit longer but who knows maybe you will uh, pick one up here for free uh, through some of your uh, daily rolls but uh, like I said, it is going to be only available for those that are level 30 uh, because you can't use Titans until you reach level 30. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, but a little description here for what the, uh, the uh, Nodens is. It, they say it's a hovering support fortress and a marvel of evil life engineering. It can repair itself and its allies. And that's kind of cool because the way it works is you actually have three different charges. So you can... Uh, you know select one of your allies to heal and then select another one and another one all at the same time and each time you apply a healing to them you also heal yourself and give yourself a small defense boost so it's it's a really cool ability um, the secondary ability though is actually uh, called disposal and that is a 50 percent uh, suppression so you will suppress any enemy robot that you target uh, by 50% uh, and anybody within I believe 75 meters of that robot uh, now this is an instant ability it goes through walls you don't need line of sight you're not shooting at somebody to suppress them it's just you select them as a target uh, and I believe it's within 500 meters uh, range wise you basically select them and you uh, automatically suppress them for 50% and any of their allies that are within 75 meters so another really interesting ability they have really kind of modeled the uh, Nodens here to be a uh, really strong support role Titan um, and it does have four light or uh, beta weapons 
uh, as far as the uh, actual weapons that it can carry. So there is no uh, alpha weapon available on the Nodens, but uh, it still should be able to put out quite a bit of damage. A uh, couple of uh, new Titan weapons, uh, it was the Cataclysm and the Cyclone. So the uh, Alpha weapon is called the Cataclysm, the Cyclone is the Beta weapon, and those are most similar to the Scourge or the Spark. Um, these are just the, the Titan version of them. And uh, once again, they are only going to be available uh, in the uh, event crates for right now. I'm sure you'll be able to purchase these as well with your Platinum after the event, but for now they're only available in the crates. Uh, and only if you are level 30. Um, now on to the uh, not so great news and it's the uh, balance update. Um, they seem to be kind of adding these little micro balances in. I, I, I kind of call them micro balances. But uh, where they're instead of doing like a, a big rebalance of all of the weapons and all of the robots, they're just kind of picking a few here and there and making some uh, some adjustments to them. Uh, this time around, there's a couple of buffs. We've got the uh, Blitz receiving a buff, 15% uh, increase in its health, which I think is uh, actually pretty good. I love running my Blitz, and I'm uh, really thinking about putting him back in my lineup because of this. Um, now... The Blitz is also going to be getting a legendary pilot, I believe, on the next operation. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that because that one uh, is going to be another really good legendary pilot. But uh, anyway, moving on, the Ravana is also getting a buff here. Its ability cooldown is going uh, down by two seconds, so you get to uh, use your ability just a little bit faster. Uh, he gets a 10% uh, health uh, bu buff, which is... Uh, uh, not bad uh, and uh, most importantly he gets a small speed increase so plus five uh, kilometers per hour increase on his base speed which I think is really needed with the Ravana because uh, when he's not using his ability he is really slow but uh, anyway uh, it's a really fun robot if you guys uh, haven't had a chance to uh, to test it out uh, hopefully you guys will uh, win one of them during the event here uh, because it, like I said it really is a lot of fun uh, now moving on, uh, this one is probably a little more controversial. Uh, actually, probably all of the uh, the nerfs here are, are controversial. But the first up on the nerfs is the Ao Jun. Uh, he has a uh, slight increase to his ability cooldown, so it's going to take a little, about two more seconds before you can uh, go back into flight with the uh, Ao Juns now. And his flight speed has also taken a uh, pretty sizable hit. Looks like it went down by about 20 kilometers per hour in flight, but he's still flying at 95 kilometers an hour when he is in the air, which is pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of people that kind of feel like this is a little bit too much of a nerf. Um, and, you know, I mean, I'm kind of torn personally as far as the uh, nerf to the Aojun. I do run two Aojuns in my personal hangar. Um, I play them very, very differently. Um, one is uh, more of my mid-range with some Vipers, and the other one is my, uh, you know, up close uh, and personal uh, brawler style with the uh, the uh, glaciers. But uh, you know, personally, I'm not too concerned with this nerf. I think. Uh, if anything, it's just going to require a little bit more skill and planning uh, when using the Aojun, but I don't think it's going to make them completely worthless. Um, and to be perfectly honest, if it wasn't for like the uh, Ao Mings and, and the uh, Titans being so strong and the Aojun being one of the only real counters to the Titans, um, the Aojun was, was OP. Um, it, it, it really was. So it, it, it was kind of deserving of the uh, nerf. But uh, like I said, the only concern that I have is, is with those Titans because it, it really is a reliable counter to the Titans. Um, so I do have some concerns over how effective that is going to still be. But, uh, you know, it's going to take some, some adjustment. But uh, overall, you know, I, I, I think it's something that I could personally deal with. And hopefully you guys will uh, adjust your play a little bit and still find the uh, Aojun a uh, very viable robot. Uh, next up, getting a uh, very small uh, nerf here is the Phantom. The only change to the Phantom now is a uh, four second increase on the ability cooldown. So not too bad overall. Um, 
it, you know, might be a little bit noticeable, but uh, the Phantom, you know, it's 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 a pretty strong robot. Uh, but uh, you know, I I don't think this is really going to hurt it too much. Um, just once again, you know, you might have to make some slight adjustments to your uh, planning and your uh, play style. But uh, overall, I think it's still going to be a very formidable uh, robot. Um, the Avenger uh, took a pretty sizable nerf here. Uh, the uh, bullet spread uh, was uh, increased by uh, 10% and the uh, damage took a 15% hit. So uh, this one is going to be tough, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of uh, a little bit more on the extreme side as far as nerfs go, but uh, you know, then again, you know, Avengers were never really designed to uh, do good sustained damage, you know, out at uh, max distance of 500 meters. So I can kind of understand the uh, the bullet spread increase on that one. Um, not too sure that I agree with the, uh, the, the damage nerf. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, the way you could kind of look at it is the Avenger. It's an it's a very inexpensive weapon to obtain and to level up. Um, it's one of the uh, cheapest heavy weapon slot, uh, weapons to uh, actually level up and max out. Um, so maybe they're just kind of trying to put it down a few notches because it was a, a very good weapon uh, even at uh, you know the top levels of, of Champion League. So maybe they're kind of just trying to dial it back just a little bit and put it more uh, you know into that lower champion or uh, you know lower league level where you know it really is still going to be a very good weapon uh, it's just not going to be as strong as it was before um, moving on uh, the avalanche uh, most people have never even used an avalanche and that's because they weren't very good um, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to uh, really cause people to uh, put put them in their hangar but uh, they did receive a, a pretty good buff they uh, decreased the reload time by uh, a half a second, which isn't bad. And the uh, missile speed, the, that means the speed that it's actually flying through the air, uh, was also increased. So it's going to be a little bit harder for the uh, fast robots to dodge your uh, rockets as they're coming in. Uh, personally, I kind of like the Avalanche. Um, they've got decent splash damage, uh, decent you know damage overall. Um, they just weren't very serviceable, mainly because it was too easy to avoid uh, their rockets. But uh, I might throw them in uh, in my lineup and test them out for you guys and uh, see if there's something that uh, you might want to consider putting into your lineup uh, at this time. Uh, moving on, we've got a buff to the Thermite. It got a 20% uh, damage buff, which is pretty big because it uh, did a good bit of damage to begin with. Uh, and they did increase the uh, missile speed just a little bit, so hopefully you will uh, miss your target a little less. Um, Personally, I don't really foresee too many people running thermites. Uh, they're not a very good weapon, uh, you know, to play in Champion League. But, you know, if, if you're looking for something to kind of have a little bit of fun with, it, it might be something to consider. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll do a little bit of testing for you guys, too, in a, in a future video. Uh, moving on, we've got the uh, first uh, Titan weapon to receive any adjustments, and that was the uh, SAR, which is the Alpha Rocket Weapon, uh, and it re uh, got a uh, decreased reload time, so it went from 5 seconds to 4 seconds. Uh, it was already a very strong weapon, just like all of the Titan weapons are very strong. Uh, I'm not sure why it really needed a buff, but, uh, you know, they uh, threw a buff on it anyway, so... You know, that might be something that uh, you might want to consider if you're planning a uh, rocket build for uh, Titan weapons. Or, uh, you know, so some people, you know, run uh, a mixture of the uh, SAR and the machine guns. Uh, it's also a very effective build, so this might be something that uh, might help you decide to put it in your lineup if you were kind of, uh, you know, on the border of, of deciding whether or not to uh, pick it up. A uh, couple of changes here. And this was uh, nothing unexpected. The uh, Pulsar and the Shredder both received a uh, slight change. This was a mechanic change, and all it did was uh, make it uh, the lockdown mechanic work the same way as the Halo, Glory, and the uh, Corona already had been adjusted to. So not really uh, any kind of a nerf or a buff, uh, in my opinion. I think this is just to bring them a little bit more in alignment with 
how they want the uh, lockdown to actually work. So there will be a uh, meter now, uh, just like there is with the, uh, the Halo and Corona and Glory, and you have to fill that meter up uh, in order for it to trigger the lockdown. So, you know, I think there's positives uh, with this to, you know, to both sides, whether you like lockdown or you don't. Um, now you're going to know when it's going to lock down instead of being a random chance. And uh, if you don't like being locked down, now you're going to be able to see that uh, meter filling up on you and you can uh, do your best to try and avoid being locked down. Okay, now moving on here to a couple of usability and uh, bug fixes. Looks like uh, they were having some issues uh, with uh, mode selection, and I can attest to this because uh, I had it happen to me while I was live streaming. Um, I actually thought I was put into uh, LPQ, but uh, apparently I was not. Uh, this was some kind of a bug that uh, prevented people from selecting a game mode, and you could only play Domination just like you were in LPQ. Uh, anybody that doesn't know what LPQ is, that's called Low Priority Q, and that's uh, kind of something that it's like a punishment that is reserved for people that are tanking. Uh, if you get caught tanking or leaving too many matches, you might find yourself put into a LPQ. It could take a little while for you to find a match. You can no longer select your mode, so you only have to play, or you can only play domination, and you have to, uh, you know, play so many matches uh, of domination in order to get yourself out of LPQ. And there's also a big silver nerf, so you're not going to be making a lot of silver when you are in LPQ. Uh, so it's best just to uh, stick with the uh, matches in. Uh, and uh, play them out uh, so you don't find yourself in there. But uh, it is good to uh, see that they did, uh, you know, get that uh, bug fixed, and uh, hopefully people won't be randomly getting uh, getting uh, put into that uh, same type of uh, area like I was. Uh, and then uh, the invader, I'm not sure, I haven't really seen any issues with the invader, but apparently he doesn't uh, explode anymore while he's in the air. Uh, the uh, Arachnid Invader, his gun controls were placed properly. Uh, once again, I didn't really notice anything uh, myself, but there could have been some other bugs going on uh, that other people noticed. Um, they did, uh, this was kind of a big one here for people that like to squad. They were having a lot of issues where they were unable to uh, get the uh, squad invitations to go through. They couldn't join a squad. Uh, so it does look like uh, they did fix that issue. So hopefully, uh, you know, that uh, won't be a problem for anybody else anymore. Uh, and then a couple of minor UI adjustments. Uh, you never know what those are. Those could be something minor, could be something major, who knows. Uh, but uh, anyway, at least it does look like they are trying to keep up on top of some of these uh, bugs and issues as they come up. Um, but uh, yeah, that is kind of it for the uh, actual uh, update notes. Um, Hopefully I was able to kind of explain some things to you. Now I could go ahead and uh, pop over here to the uh, game real quick and uh, take a quick look at the, uh, the new hangar layout. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's a little bit uh, brighter than uh, the last uh, hangar layout. Um, it looks uh, pretty cool overall. Um, it's got the uh, War Robots logo there on the uh, back window and some kind of uh, scrolling uh, computer code going up and down the uh, side windows. But uh, overall, I think this is a uh, really nice looking, uh, really nice looking um, hangar. And uh, there you go. You can uh, move and take a look here at uh, your Titan. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks uh, really good overall. So uh, one thing I would like to uh, point out, uh, and I think I mentioned it uh, earlier, is that uh, iOS and Android both received the update uh, today. And, you know, I think that's awesome. I think this is one of the first times uh, for as long as I've been playing the game that uh, both Android and iOS received the update at the same time. So I think uh, that's awesome that they were able to make that happen and hopefully they will uh, keep up with that. Um, but uh, I don't really have anything else to show you here at the uh, hangar. I just wanted to kind of take a look here at the, the graphics because, you know, the graphics are kind of important and, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I, I like to see these uh, new hangars as they come in and, uh, you know, they make some uh, little improvements to that. But uh, I think that is going to uh, wrap up the, the video, everybody. You know, sorry if it was a little bit boring. It was just me talking. But uh, I really just kind of wanted to uh, go over some of the things that are coming to the game with uh, update uh, 6.0. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, 
If you had any questions, I already covered it. If not, feel free to uh, put your question in the comments below here on the video and I'll do my best to uh, answer those questions for you. Uh, once again, a quick reminder to uh, make sure that you stop by Islanders uh, YouTube channel and subscribe over there uh, and uh, take a look at the uh, atomizer giveaway videos uh, you still have a, a few days left to uh, enter into those uh, giveaways and uh, once more a plug for the uh, podcast uh, this Sunday uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time it'll be live right here on my channel so make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss it uh, and Islander and myself will be going over um, a couple of topics here uh, mainly the event the update um, good bad uh, it's, it's a place for us to discuss things, talk, th talk things out, uh, listen to your thoughts, uh, your opinions, and answer your questions uh, about everything going on. That's the whole point of the podcast, but uh, this Sunday we will be doing our uh, Atomizer giveaway together, so we'll be giving away 100 Atomizers to, uh, to viewers that are on the podcast. You will need to be on the podcast in order to uh, participate, so hopefully we will see you there. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for me, everybody. I hope you all are staying uh, healthy and uh, safe and until the next one chief out <laughs>